Hello, this is Scott Washi, and in this tutorial I am going to show you how to easily set up physics assets for your skeletal meshes, your character rigs, and all of that. Um, first things first, after you have imported your skeletal mesh and any animations if you'd like, um, and have it created in a package, just uh, go to the package that it is in, and then select the skeletal mesh right click on it and go to create new physics asset now here you wanna either keep it in the same package or put in a different one or put in its own group and then uh, have it named usually it just does underscore physics afterwards um, that's just the easiest way to do it and then click OK Right. Now here's a couple of options you need to be aware of. Um, first of all, minimum bone size. That is the minimum size for a bone that has to be in order to create a physics bone. Um, if you leave it at one, then it might miss some bones. Um, I've seen this happen plenty of times, so if you set it to negative one, it'll definitely take care of all of your bones. Um, also important around collision geometry for some reason uh, I haven't been able to confirm this or anything but only box geometry uh, collides with players in game I've tried uh, all types of spear geometries um, but nothing's built players just walk through it no matter what um, so leave that box uh, and also walk past small bones you probably want to uncheck that uh, that will go past like smaller bones close to the zero value um, so it might miss some bones key bones that you'd like to create physics for and um, after that just hit OK and then it'll open up the fat editor the uh, physics authoring tool um, first things first you just see a jumbled mess of boxes everywhere uh, this is really confusing at first, but um, if you just take your time with all of it, it's pretty easy. Um, so what we have here is just the area in which you could set the sizes, um, rotations of your bones in your character, and um, test it out and see how it works. Uh, so what these boxes all represent is a bone in the uh, skeletal mesh. So if you select that, you'll see that this uh, box corresponds to the bone tip, um, which under the tree over here is your skeletal hierarchy. Um, if we scroll down, we see tip is right there. So that is related to that bone. Uh, a couple of things to know. Um, you There is this movement space icon over here, this W. Uh, and if you select it, it'll basically go between local and world uh, movements. Uh, right now, it's tilted, so if you move it, uh, so on, it'll move around its local axis. Uh, but if you change it to world, then it'll move around to the world axis, which is always up as 90 degrees straight up. Um, and so no matter what, it'll just move like that. Oops. <coughs> um, a couple other options up here is translation mode, which is movement, uh, rotation, and scaling. So you could resize everything, which is going to be key, especially for bones like this. Um, to utilize this, just select the um, icon, or you could hit spacebar. That switches it on the fly as well and then highlight the arrow in which you want to uh, move and then left click and move around uh, I, I haven't found a way to uniformly scale things so unfortunately you just have to do access by access uh, couple other nifty tools up at the top are um, you see the wireframe mode or just no mesh at all. Um, you can see the uh, bone names over here. You can also, you know, hide the world if you want to. Uh, 
you can get rid of the boxes, which is you know a little bit cleaner. So also that actually brings me into the um, joints uh, where the pink crosses are. Um, if you click on this B over here and change it from editing mode, which it is in, to the um, other mode, uh, what you could do is actually select those joints um, and then edit how the physics you know relates to each other. Uh, for instance, um, you could make the bone breakable. So by just checking angular breakable down here, uh, the bone will actually break off whenever it collides with something. Um, and you could set the uh, limit uh, to how much uh, force it needs to break. So right now it's at 500, which is you know kind of average. You can set it to uh, zero, in which it'll just fall right off. Or you could just set it to like 10, which basically anything that will hit it will um, break it off and so on.